Hi there, I'm Jason Lee Frobes and today we're going to be making shrunken voodoo skulls. I've got 25 pairs of women's tights, buttons for eyes, and I've got an assortment of colourful t-shirts cheap from Dalston Market that I'm going to cut up and use as hair. So as you can see here, I've uh, cut up the t-shirt and then I'm literally just cutting the small little strips out of it. Give the impression of like long, twisty, curly hair, maybe a bit mystical. There we are, so that's what a completely cut up t-shirt looks like. I'm onto the yellow ones now. I've actually done it for a while, but if anything, you just gather a net for it. So I've got the nice wide part of the t-shirt there, cut for as long as I can, pulling it apart. Okay, so now I've got all my strips of material, the next thing to do is to grab six pieces of the material, like two times each of the colour. Grab your stapler, make sure they're all flat at the top, get the stapler well over the, the top and the bottom, press hard. So what you've got there is um, the, voodoo, the voodoo hair. So when you've got your voodoo head, you'll place this over the top and that will become his hair. Here we go, I've got 50 um, voodoo head pieces ready to fit on top of the voodoo head. Nice mixture of different coloured hair. I was going to use sand, but I'm thinking maybe they'll be, they'll be too heavy. So I thought about using this stuff instead. It's like a it's of, um, small little bits of, of foam and um, sponge. And I'm going to fill that inside the um, inside the tight uh, pack it up so it's like a head shape and then tie it up at the top so the, um, the technique of doing this is to open up the tight right down to the bottom place the tights into the bag of foam and then st stuff it all into the bottom and use your fist to push it down you want to get quite a fair bit in there because it all compresses. So yeah, put your hand in the tight, kind of just push it all down. Using your fingers as well, really push it into the button, creating like a nice sort of human skull shape. When you've got your shape, pull your hand out like a balloon, tie a knot right down into the button there. Pull it tight and then just with your hands create the nice shape of the head. And there we have it 50 voodoo skull heads. So now I'm just cutting the, uh, cutting the tight. Don't need that bit. Leaving just the shape of the voodoo shrunken head. Okay, so the next stage is to attach the hair onto the top of the voodoo head. So, noticed I left a little bit of the tight above the knot there. Get the hair, separate it, we want three bits either side, and then just literally sit it on top of the head, like that. Push it down, push it really hard. And you probably want to do that two or three times. There you go. See now the, the hair sits on top of the head. It's looking more more like a more like a shrunken voodoo skull. So now my 50 shrunken voodoo heads all have hair. Right, so what we want to do now is put eyes onto the voodoo skull. So to do that we're gonna select a couple of different buttons. Get yourself a needle. And a bit of thread. Doesn't matter what colour the thread is. Everyone probably sews differently. This is the way I do it. Place it down onto the head. Poke the needle through. Just pinch a tiny bit of the foam. 
and a tight, pull that thread through, and then you want to loop through the bit you've just put in to give yourself a knot. Now the uh, button's in place, you just want to keep sewing round and round that will secure the button. Trim the remaining bits of thread. And then for the other eye, some of them can have two eyes, some can have no eyes. Some of them can have like a, a cross where the missing eye should be, or even a, a stitch where the eye is being removed. And then draw in the mouth. This one can be happy. And then in the mouth, put lines of stitching. So it's kind of going to look like that. You can even shape the nose a little bit because of the texture of the foam. A shrunken voodoo skull. Right, so now I've got my 50 shrunken voodoo heads. The last thing to do is to attach the fishing wire to the voodoo head. It'll give the impression that the voodoo head is just sort of floating around. And there you have it.